I didn't see you coming as you seeped within my cells, launching an attack on my body, making me feel unfell. I didn't see you coming as I lay in my hospital bed, fearing for the future, my mind full of dread. Oral cancer is a life-taking disease. Its prevalence increases with increase in age. It's more common in males than in females. It contributes to the two percent of the world's cancer patient and is the leading cancer in Indo-Pak region. Tobacco consumption is one of the most well-known cause of oral cancer. But 25% of oral cancer cases were reported with no history of tobacco. According to Cawson, there are many other causes of oral cancer such as direct exposure to sunlight, viral diseases such as human papilloma virus and syphilis, genetic diseases such as Fanconi's anemia, and oral submucous fibrosis may also lead to oral cancer. The average age at diagnosis is 62 years, but around 25% of the cases happen before the age of 55, says the American Cancer Society. In the early stages, there are often no signs or symptoms of oral cancers. Smokers and heavy drinkers should have regular checkup with the dentist, as a dentist may be able to spot any sign at an early stage. Signs that a cancer may develop at an early stage include leukoplakia and oral lichen planus. If a cancer develops, a person may notice patches on the lining of the mouth or tongue, bleeding pain or numbness in the mouth, mouth ulcers or sores that do not heal, a lump or thickening of the gums or lining of the mouth, loose teeth with no apparent reason, poorly fitting dentures and swelling in the jaw, Difficulty in chewing or swallowing and difficulty in moving the tongue or the jaw. Having any of these symptoms does not mean that a person has a mouth cancer, but it is worth checking with a doctor. Treatment will depend upon the location, stage and type of cancer, the individual's overall health and personal preferences. Major hallmarks of the treatment include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy and hyperthermia therapy. There might be some complications associated with the treatments. These complications may include fatigue, nausea and vomiting, hair loss, and weakened immune system. What is the role of dentist in oral cancer? A dentist may help in prevention of oral cancer by educating a patient to give up on tobacco, alcohol, and furthermore, betel nut and many other factors which may further result into an oral cancer. Moreover, a dentist may also help in early detection of oral cancer, such as detection of intraoral lesions or premalignant diseases, such as lichen planus. Furthermore, a dentist may also help in post-treatment of oral cancer, such as patients with ill-fitted dentures or cervical metastasis of oral cancer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>